I've had many people tell me that I need to check out Polyphia, and I've just put it off for whatever reason, and I've never heard one single song or note by them, so I figure why not go ahead and jump into it and see what it's about. Okay, kind of spooky and ominous starting. Very cool. Okay. Uh I've seen the I've seen him before. Um I don't remember his name. Let me look that up real quick. Tim Henson. Okay, so I have seen him before. I'm pretty sure like on shorts and things so I know he's very talented but as far as like the band Polyphia I haven't uh, haven't noticed it yet but let me let me go ahead and keep going those transitions are pretty cool yeah yeah I've seen him okay Okay, again, this is a reaction video, so there's going to be a lot of pausing um, and skipping around, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll just let it flow. But uh, right off the bat, when the drums kick in, it goes into a pretty cool little beat, and the guitar playing is pretty good so far. And there's a bassist. It's got a very good flow. Very, very good flow. I mean, I'm enjoying this. Uh, it's definitely not my go-to type of music, but uh, it might be. Definitely with the cinematography and the playing, it's definitely feeling like it's building up to something. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Uh, I have no idea, but the visuals so far, pretty pretty good. They match the, uh, the music pretty well. I don't, I don't know why I was expecting high gain playing and they might get to that, but with a name like Polyphia, in my head, it makes me picture, you know, um, you know, these metal bands from the 90s and early 2000s and earlier, just, all, you know, just with the, the crazy hard to read logos and everything, but uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. That bass, though, it's starting to kick in. That's, that's pretty good. Had my mic in there. Oh, a little bit of a gain there. I mean, the playing, the playing with or without gain or distortion is pretty awesome. And I love I love the flow of people just walking towards the camera and sitting down and standing up and the drummer is always in a different spot and I think he was in a different spot. I don't remember him being up on the little uh, altar area. Yeah. So yeah, the the drummer keeps. I mean, obviously you're not gonna walk and play a drum kit, but um, I like how they keep setting them up in different areas, and that the bassist is you know carrying his own. Um, so far, like I said, it's not my cup of tea um, as far as like overall aesthetic of the music, uh, but it's very impressive, highly impressive.
I, I just realized, do they not have a vocalist? I guess with playing and you don't, I mean, the way they're playing and the style and everything, you probably don't need a vocalist to carry it. I mean, it's very melodic anyways. The top line is covered completely. Um, but, I mean, I mean, it's holding my attention. Yeah, like every uh, musician in the band has these little fills and these little runs and everything that's like very impressive. Like that one little guitar run right there. That little harmonic right there, that was pretty pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Okay, so that that was uh, Polyphia Goat, or G-O-A-T, I guess they call it Goat, whatever. But uh, I guess uh, my initial reactions were proven to me at least that it's not my cup of tea uh very enjoyable um very talented obviously um i'm definitely gonna check out more see if they have any more a little bit more rocky metal high gain type stuff um but maybe maybe uh that will be good for another uh live reaction in the future but i appreciate you uh hanging with me and checking this out and if you're interested in seeing more content like this go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel see ya Thank <laughs> you.